For many years, it had been hidden away, its existence known only to the nun who founded this pony centre. But now this sketch by the great Lucian Freud has been revealed to the art world in the hope it can help the centre he loved so much continue its work. The artist, who died eight years ago, began visiting the centre in West London in 2003 to paint the horses. He never finished this sketch of Goldie and instead of destroying it, as he would normally do, he left it to Sister Mary Joy, who at first had no idea who he was. I turned to him and I said, could you just remind me what your name is, please? And we had a youngster here who was an art student and she was behind him and she was, so, <laughs> she was <laughs> horrified that I hadn't a clue who this gentleman was. The artist decided he didn't like Goldie's personality, she says, moving on to another horse there, Sue, resulting in one of his most famous works, Mare Eating Hay. But now, to pay for improvements to the centre on its 30th birthday, Sister Mary Joy is selling the sketch that Freud had discarded. Once the piece was completed, it, he didn't have any interest in it. With Goldie, this is the interesting thing about it, it, is, it was never completed, but it was never destroyed, and it was left to me, so... He just left it here for you? Yeah, in my office. Celebrated for his portraits, the Royal Academy is currently showing more than 50 of his paintings of himself. He applied the same artistic rules when it came to horses. As with his subjects, as his human subjects, his, his uh, paintings of horses are really a portrait of the horse. He, so he would sketch the horse, get to know the horse and experience the character. You know, it could raise very little or it could go sky high with a little bit of luck. I think he'd be delighted. The auction will take place in December. Nina Nanar, News at 10.